welcome to 50 pence friday this is episode 66 the final ever episode that we'll be hunting specifically for this book so we've got one episode left to find the one coin that we've been chasing from the very beginning and that is olympic football we have every other 50 pence that is in circulation at this moment in time right there we're up to the paddington at st paul's and a few episode, episodes ago, Lady M uh, posed the question, should we carry on or should we start a new book? We, we did a vote on it and it was 70-30 percentage wise that we should start a new book. So we've decided that this is episode, the last episode because it's episode 66. 66 is the year that uh, England won the World Cup and we need Olympic football. So this is it. This is, our, this is our last chance to get it um, into this uh, into this album before we start it, before we start another one. We are going to um, leave ourselves a little bit of a way back because we have two, well, three books in our two pound hunts. Lady M's got a book, I've got a book, and Ellie's got a book. So what we have decided to do is we're going to move on to a new book. But my my book, my red book, will always be uh, always be there. So if we do find a limited football, then um, oh, that's a great find. Then I'll be able to put it back into uh, put it into my album. If you like, right, my first coin is a 2008 Britannia. So that is a low mintage year for the for the Britannia, 3.5 million. So we keep our eye out for we keep our eye out for that. And we also look for the shield, and their shield 2019 is no surprise. Loads of them around, absolutely stacks of these. Uh, and I'm sure they're going to be tens and tens of millions into circulation. But we look for the NIFCs. They're not intended for circulation. 2009, 10, 11, 16 and 18. And we also look for the low, low mintage years of 2017. Only 1.8 million of them were made. There's our first commemorative. So Lady M's got 2015's Battle of Britain with the uh, the fifth portrait on the Queen is JC. Mm -hmm. If it's the fourth portrait at IRB, it might be worth a few quid. Um, but unfortunately, it is just the... Uh, just the bog standard. However, it is a it is a lovely coin. How did we decide we were putting the coins on the mat, lady? I know. I was just thinking that as I was about to. Didn't, put we, it didn't we have a new system? Oh, did we, did we decide we were starting we're at the starting bottom? Starting at the bottom. Yeah, I think we were, weren't we? So, and we're going to make this Paddington's corner because in the last okay. episode we found loads of Paddingtons, didn't we? So we'll we'll leave that little corner for uh, Paddington. We'll see whether we can get the uh, the full set. Hopefully we uh, hopefully we will. So how are you feeling, Lady M? Are we going to uh, are we go are we going to find it? Is it, is it here? How, how are you feeling? Um, I'm not amazingly confident. No, I must admit I'm not either. You know, I'm not. There's another Paddington at the at the tower, second one. And I said I don't want to be too. Ooh. What? I was just about to say, gosh, we've got lots of 2019 shields, but there's a 2017 one. Lovely. Nice. Yeah, so I'm I'm a little bit uh, a little bit dejected. I've got to be honest. There's uh, Sherlock 2019. A little bit dejected because I didn't really want to close the book. I wanted to carry on to the bitter end because we've got the Kew Gardens. But Lady M spoken. The <laughs> the viewers have spoken. The, the, we put it to the vote. So, um, but yeah, how are we going to? I don't know. I, I don't feel confident. But I think I don't want to be a downer, boss. You know. But I just think we've looked for all this time. What's the chances of finding it now? We're also in uh, scepticism land because the uh, the bag isn't sealed. It was just whatever I could get hold of. Um, I did get it as a full five hundred pound bag for the post office, but they weren't in the seal bag, so we're just tied with an elastic band. Right there's the two thousand nineteen Paddington's complete. Paddington the same poles, so it could have easily have been uh, another two thousand eight Britannia. Scooted through, nice. So yeah, we'll be, we'll be going through, and uh, any commemoratives are nice, you know. I mean, when was the last time we had an Olympic? Yeah, I can't remember. Oh. Oh, there's a Rabbit. Oh yeah, you like that one, don't I you? Do. Has he got the extra whisker? I have no idea. And we've got that kind of... Can you say it? It's like a missed strike sometimes, we get an extra whisker, but uh, no, not on this time, so what's the obverse like? Sometimes you get it where you get a rare... A stake through the Queen's head, so the the, the, the kind of the, the the dies being cracked or whatever, and you get like a bit of a run of the of the juice, as it were. But no, not this time. Mm -hmm. Nice coin though. You like that one, don't you? I do. Oh, he's Ellie's favourite coin. Anybody remember Ellie? She 
excuse to uh, do the old coin hunt, but she's she's ditched us, I think. Right, I've got 2016 Lady M. This would be mm. uh, this would be nice if it was a puddle duck, a nice way to close this book, even though we've already got it. Please don't be anything but a Team GB. And it's a Team GB. Um, that reminds me that uh, next year there'll be the... Um, oh, there's a banister. A little bit of an Olympic theme, I suppose. Roger Bannister. It's a four-minute mile. Though they have running in the Olympics, don't they? Um, yeah, next year the... <laughs> running races. Yeah. Next year the, um, they're bringing a, a, a 2020 Team GB coin out as well for Tokyo, so that'll be interesting to see. Oh, we've got a new camera set up and I've still I've still managed to knock it. I'm now Ooh. completely here. Oh, sorry, lady. I'm, compl I'm, I'm completely <laughs> free here. I've got a different a different camera set up thanks to Allah Absolute Coins to give us some some advice, but I've still managed to knock it. Right, 2017. Is it going to be a bunny? Is it going to be a potter? Is it going to be a Newton? That would be nice. We haven't found a, we haven't found a Newton for yonks. And it's a Taylor Peter Rabbit. Ooh. Um, so, while we're on. on then, are we going to... Who's, how many in your Benjamin Bunny. Uh, Benjamin Bunny is in this hunt too. I'm going to go with four. He's the first one for me to be. Um, Put wrong on. And I am. Damn. How many did I say? Two. Twelve. Twelve. <laughs> I think it was twelve I said. <laughs> There's another. Pete, Taylor Peter Rabbit. One thing I noticed, I was watching the uh, Change Checker video. Change Checker and Christopher Collects are doing a... I did a head-to-head -head challenge video, mm. and I never noticed if you find by the time we found one, we'll show. But on the Peter Rabbit and uh, uh, Beatrix Potter anniversary coin, the other one with Beatrix Potter written on it, it's that version of the uh, of the Peter Rabbit that's at the bottom of it. Oh, do, do you know what I mean? Oh, in fact, well, I can just show you one, can I? Never, uh, never noticed. Uh, sixteen. Gone past it. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. So it's the, the same same rabbit at the bottom. Cool. It's cool there, isn't it? It is. So thanks very much to Rachel at Change Checker and Christopher for pointing that out. Don't think it's absolutely exact. Can't see the whiskers on it, but I think it's the same rabbit. Well we know it's the same rabbit, we know it's Peter the Rabbit there. <laughs> You know, every day is a school day. Yeah. Whoops. Down above this lady, um, come on. Mm. Come on. Imagine pulling football out of the last. No one would ever believe it. No. I'd have a, uh, I'd settle for an Olympic, mind. It was a bit young since we found an Olympic. Can you remember the last time we found an Olympic and what it was? No, I can't. Was it Paddington at the tower? Another one for uh, Paddington's yeah. Corner. Um, I didn't pick. Oh, there's another one right after him. I'm trying to think what the last one was. I can't think. It's that far back. You being the Olympic Queen as well. You know, if you can't remember. Mm -hmm. Yep, yeah, we know there's nine million of them now. First one. You know, there's nine million of them in circulation as the mintage figures are released. Well, it'll be a couple of months ago now, won't it? Oh, I only missed that then. Oh, what is it? 2008 Britannia. Oh, nice. Third one. Yeah, and it just shows, it, it, it puzzles me that, that the people act because nine million, so quite high. Although when we were when we were finding them in previous hunts, there were, oh, it was as if there was going to be, the, well, I've, I've called them many times the Benjamin Bunny of the uh, 2018. And... If you think about it, we haven't really found that many. Not now. Have we in the last, I don't know, 10 or 20 episodes? They really seem... as if they disappeared. Yeah, they've dried up, so... Yeah. Maybe it's oh. nine, 9 million is as low as you ever think it is. What on earth has happened to that? Look at it compared to the other ones. Yeah, it's actually it's quite a cool colour. quite like it. I'm not quite sure what's happened to that. Do you want me to leave it down? Just to look at? Oh, you know, uh, really I, don't, I don't like it that much. <laughs> Popular 
Get into that some calls. I wonder whether the the Paddington's will be the same. I've seen another one in here as well, Paddington. Two thousand seventeen. Oh, that's what we decided to do in the last episode, wasn't it? Put the Benjamin bunnies up here. Oh, that's right. Have yep. them on their own. Have them in their own row. Them and the, the right. Taylor Peter rabbits. Oh, and be the most common. Yes. Yeah. Um, I had a point about the people out there. I've forgotten. Oh, the Paddingtons. So we're coming across loads now. So there's another one. There's a Paddington at the, at the tower. So we came across a lot. A lot. We came. Blah, 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 blah. We came across many People's Act, People Act, representation of the People Act, full title, uh, and they've dried up. So I wonder whether the Paddingtons will be the same loads now because they're, they're newly minted. Mm. But will they, will they dry up a bit as, the, as time goes on? Maybe. Who knows? Maybe there's not many uh, people acting because people were hoarding them until the vintage figures came out. Yeah, so maybe over the next few months they'll begin to recirculate back round. Mm -hmm. Quite possibly. Oh, I thought I found an Olympic there, but still a, a Commonwealth Games for Glasgow. Oh. Nice, uh, nice condition as well. Mm -hmm. I'd love to have found it the other way around because this is the... The same as the uh, WWF and the Newton, the IRB fourth part rate. Um, yeah, it's in pretty decent nick actually. It's getting on a little bit. 2014, so five years old. It's quite a nice condition. On that one, haven't found one of them for a while either. Mm -hmm. We haven't. I mean, generally, I think I think the commemoratives have, be, uh, have become harder to come by. Jeremy Fisher, Toad Boy. Yeah, I think they are. They, they just generally seem to be. This is going to be uh, Benjamin Britten or a shield. It's Benjamin Britten, I thought so. There he is. Five million of them, give or take, in circulation. There's another Paddington. Whoops. Is that shiny? Is that shiny? You nearly got a face reveal. But you still knocked this blooming camera. Honestly. Anyway, at least I've got a bit of freedom to move. Mm -hmm. we we found a um, found a fly now when you were sitting put the Benjamin bunnies on the top row and the, and the Peter Rabbits on the second row. Another lot of space. Yeah, if you find a a nice uh, range of commemoratives, mm. you run out of space. Ooh, right, what's, what's that, that one again? Um, that is the Battle of Hastings because it has the date on the front. And there we go. So that's the second one of them. Oh, there's Ironside. Right. Pork doing the finger. For the 2013 coin. I mean, we could come up with a system. If anybody's got any ideas of where we should put the coins on the mat, um, you know, like let's see, we've got Paddington Corner, although we've already overtook Paddington Corner because we haven't mm. had any of the Palace or at the station. So we haven't followed our own new rule. Well, you haven't, anyway. No. Right, there's another 17. Another bunny. And 18. Oh, uh, there you go. There we go. <laughs> That's right. right on cue. So, it's a cue, is it? Uh, I don't think so. So, um, All I want for Christmas is cue. Oh, yeah. Christopher Collector's got his uh, T-shirt, uh, Christmas jumper line out. So, you want to go, I think, Teesprings, I think, is is, is uh, where you get his, them jumpers from. <laughs> yeah. They're yeah, pretty cool. There is another Pannington. So I'll be good in mind if the Paddington's turned out to be low mintage because we've put all our Paddington's back into circulation. Imagine it turns out they're like three million or something. WWF range. There's Mr. Jeremy Fisher, Toad Boy. Where's, uh, we got one, haven't we? There. How does that work then? Because we've got... Yeah, you might just have to start stacking them up. Oh, this mat. I love this mat, but we're going to have to think of it of a proper system of how it works. I don't like it out of I don't like it out of sequence. Mm -mm, that's another bunny. Is that only two? Yeah, oh that, they're the only two we're gonna find as well, I'm telling you. The Benjamin Bunny challenge is mine. That's nice. That uh, that nice. reminds Oh squirrel knocking. Squirrel knocking. Yeah, it's an over face value, it's a nice uh, nice desirable coin that five five million Stick in circulation. So we'll put it into circulation. There's another 
Paddington yep. of the Tower. And there's another one as well. So we need to decide what are we going to do. So we have our Benjamin Bunny challenges, which obviously I'm going to take again. But new book next episode, episode 67. New book, mm. new Benjamin Bunny. Is there going to be new rules? How do we, how do, if we decide the winner, once we have a winner, is a, what prize do you get or what forfeit do you get if, you, if you're the loser? Do we start keeping a running total? How do we keep a running total? Don't want it too faffy. There's enough to remember as it uh, as as it is. So, but we do, I do. I would like to do something different to the Benji, uh, to the Benji, for our Benjamin Bunny challenges. I don't want to put them in a, a bar or anything. That's just a bit tacky, isn't it? To be fair, just put them all in a bar. So, <laughs> I don't want to do that. But I would like to do something. So, any any ideas about what we should do with our uh, our Benjamin Bunnies, or our Benjamin, how we can refresh the Benjamin Bunny challenge, would be would be great. Right, well, if Olympic football's coming, it needs to be. He's doing what you've got left or this last bag. Yeah. Sad times, sad times. I mean, I don't want to be Daisy Downer Buzz, but... Uh, last bag's a total bust as well. Never mind. On the plus side, looks like you're going to win the Benjamin Bunny Challenge. Oh, yes. That's perked me up a little bit, Lady M. Unless I pull them out now. <laughs> no. Well, <laughs> pull anything else you like out other than Benjamin Bunny. That right. It? That is it. Plum Vines. What uh, What have we got? Definitely Battle of Britain. I'm a, it's not in the greatest condition, but I'm a big fan of the Battle of Britain coin. Yeah. Um, and maybe it's Benjamin Britain. Are they, are they the, the lowest but, vintage? I don't know. What's Squirrel Nutkin? Five million. Oh. Yeah, oh yeah. So that's a nice... Uh, um, they're all they're all about that five million mark as well. Yeah, I guess the shield. Yeah, has the has the shield rescued us? They've been a, a low mintage. Of course, they're, they're not as scarce as other like the Isaac Newtons. Um, one thousand more of these in circulation. One point one million eight hundred and one thousand. But uh, yeah, so that's a uh, that's a nice one. So yeah, I think we'll have to go with the um, the five million mark coins. As the, uh, as a, I suppose it'd be nice if this was our first episode of the new book. It'd be nice to get all these in. It's mm. a nice, uh, you don't find a squirrel nutkin every day. You don't. But unfortunately, it's not going to go. Oh, and of course, the Britannias. So we found three 2008 oh, yeah. Britannias. So they're always nice to find. Again, quite rare, but not necessarily scarce because no one really looks for them. Um, Should we do a zoom in? Because we've got, we're using the we're slightly different. Oh, I've moved, I must have moved the mat lock. Hang on. There we go. Oh no, must be the way it is. Is it just is it sneaking in? I'm not sure. Right, let's see where the zoom in is. If we got a different zoom in. Oh well, let's squirrel. That's worked out well. Oh, that's all right actually. Yeah. Let's quickly see them three. So just stick that up there, that there, that there, and Battle of Britain, uh, Benjamin Britain, squirrel nutkin. And what we're going to put in the middle? Oh, well, we'll put you you like that one, don't you? Yeah. We'll put that one in the middle. So that's a nice little there. Uh, yeah, it's a nice little hunt, that. Okay. Right. Um, I win the Benjamin Bunny Challenge. So that makes me the overall winner of this book. <laughs> yeah, because the we are executing Order 66. And this okay. is the last of the uh, the last of the hunts specifically for my book. So I go out with a bang, Lady M. That's the series. 1-0 in series. Fantastic. So any ideas now, Lady M can pull it back next uh, in the next book. Do uh, do, uh, do let me know. So I just want to say thank you very much for watching. Please don't forget to send us a friend request on Facebook at Bungle Collects. We're on Instagram, Bungle underscore Collects. Uh, do subscribe, put a like on, turn the notification bell on, leave us a comment, all that jazz. So thank you very much for watching and we will see you in the next episode with our brand new book. And just a very quick extra bit that I did forget about. I uh, forgot to mention the Gruffalo. So the Gruffalo is now into circulation. So thanks to the greatbritishcoinhunt.com and, uh, and ourselves, Bungle Collects Coins, 850 of these have been stamped and put into uh, circulation. So everybody's got a chance of finding one in their change. And the other one is, uh, I forgot to show this one. So this is a really cool 50 pence. Uh, Keith, give me this. So thank you very much, Keith, for, uh, for giving this coin to me. Uh, anybody any idea where it's from from it's uh, it is a it is a territory coin 
It is a, it is a, it's a definite 50 pence. It's got a turtle on there. Any ideas? Give you a five, four, three, two, one. Okay, here we go. It's the St. Helena Ascension. So mm -hmm. there's the St. Helena and Ascension Isles. Uh, a quicker Google uh, told me that um, there's three islands around there. Um, 4,000 people on one, 900 on the other, and about 400 on the other. So the mintage figures are unknown, but uh, absolutely stunning find. So thank you very much, Keith, for uh, for giving me that coin. It'll probably go in our, in our awesome. special book. It is cool, isn't it? it? Absolutely awesome. I like the ones with animals on. Yeah. Uh, yeah, absolutely, especially something as, as rare, rare as it's surprisingly not amazingly valuable. Um, I had a look on eBay and there's somewhere, um, the cheapest was £3, the most expensive was a tenner, I think, although the tenner one was like basically yeah. brilliant uncirculated. Oh. According to the 50p guidebook that we've got, mm. we're, we're around about four quid, four to six pound, depending on the condition. Wow. So, yeah, not particularly valuable when you think the mintage figures will be ridiculously low. Yeah. Like, there have been so few people living on them islands, but. Anyway, stunning coin. Mm -hmm. Okay, thanks very much for watching. See ya. See you in the new book.